Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Mike, KF0KKX. And before we jump into his question, I want to take a moment to thank Ralph Benajam, who is a patron of mine on Patreon.com. That means he helps support my channel financially. You too can do that by going to Patreon.com slash KE0OG and find a way that works for you. Now here's Mike's question. I'm a new technician class operator picking up my first HF rig today. Okay, uh, normally I would recommend going ahead and getting the general before getting the HF radio, but you certainly have HF privileges uh, on 10 meters and of course uh, 6 meters you can operate with uh, a lot of privileges in the 15 meter band you've just got CW um, but the sunspots are picking up and uh, there's a lot of stuff going on on 10. He's working with his uncle to build an Alpha Delta in the 6, 10, and 15 meter bands. Is there a minimum separation distance between the elements? Not really. Um, the Alpha Delta brand antennas have about three inches separation. They have little uh, spacers that hold them out at that level. Most people, when they make a fan dipole, uh, hold them out a little bit further. Um, I found lots of data on element length and appropriate heights to achieve half wavelength, etc. Now there's a problem with a multiband antenna. They're all going to be at essentially the same height. So that can be the perfect height for one and not for another. So each band is going to have its own uh, have its own radiation pattern. Okay. Um, not much on separation of the elements. Logic would tell me that since they're all connected at the center cobra head, that as long as they are insulated from each other, they should not be an issue. That's essentially true, but not true if you just wrap them around each other. Okay, you'll get capacitive coupling that way, which will really throw off the tuning. Let's take a look at the whiteboard here. Okay, uh, Alpha Delta. Their antennas, you, you've got, uh, let's see, uh, 15, 10, and 6. 15 is the longest. And there's a connection right here. 10 is shorter. And 6 is even shorter than that. Okay. And so you connect it here and here. With the Alpha Delta, they kind of hang from each other here. And you can create little hangers to do that, like made of plastic. A simple little piece of plastic that holds this up, it'll actually come up like this so you can keep some uh, tightness on it. Um, or you can just hang it all the way. And then, so this would be the 15, this would be the 10, and this would be the 6. Now your privileges right now cover a lot of stuff on 10 and 6. You can do FT8. You can do other data modes. You can do single sideband and CW. The only thing you can do on 15 is CW with a tech license. Now, these tune quasi-independently of each other, not completely independently. So what I suggest, if you've got two poles, if you don't have any poles or any trees, get two pieces of uh, chain link fence top rail. Now these have an end that's slightly tapered so they fit right into the next one. If you get two lengths of that for 20 feet total, okay, you can put these up, guide them at the top with parachute cord or whatever, something that's uh, got some UV resistance and put them up and then put the antenna between them. 
I recommend that from the pole to the end of the wire be about three feet of something non-metallic, like a parachute cord or something. That's because if you get the pole too close, the pole starts becoming part of the antenna and it will detune the antenna. I did some modeling of that and so that's how I've got uh, mine. And then of course you've got the coax coming down like this. Now if it's an alpha delta and that little thing you called the cobra head, the wire comes in here, the center goes over here, and the shield goes over here. There's no ballon. Now if you want a ballon, you can put one in by coiling some coax, although coax is so expensive, by the time you've done that, you'll have 20 or $30 worth of coax in that. Or you can put some ferrite beads on the coax down here. Or you can take a larger ferrite core and wrap the coax several times around it like that. Or you could just go ahead and put a one to one ballon right there. Okay. Any of those ways work. Or you can just bring that coax on down. My personal experience is that just connecting the coax like that is fine. Uh, some people uh, object on purest grounds. Other people object uh, just because they like to object to the things that are simple. Okay, now you can also, and let me take this from the top. This is the top view. Okay, here's your tree over here, a tree over here. You've got your antenna strung between them. Okay, Here's the center. Now, if you want, if this is the 15, you can bring the 10 out at an angle like that and the 6 out at an angle like that. Now, this will obviously drastically affect the tuning, but it does make them somewhat more, um, somewhat less coupled to each other. Okay, but then you need to string this to something. Now, if you're in your backyard and you have trees, first of all, you're very lucky to have trees. I don't have tall enough trees to do this, but I do have some trees. For my big step IR, big IR vertical, there's trees about that big, trees over here, and the guy wires, the guy ropes, on this attached to the tree trunk at about the seven foot high point. Now at the seven foot high, foot high point, these trees are not gonna bend very much in the wind. But somebody walking through here will not guillotine themselves with that wire. So I recommend that. Now if you're using that pole approach, and so let's look at this from the side, if you have the pole and your antenna here, you're gonna have three guys here. You can go to Home Depot and get what are called forming stakes for setting forms for concrete. A two foot, three foot are the lengths I've used. Put these into the ground here, here. Get a nice pattern so that you're out in thirds like that, okay? You can calculate these numbers and measure it out. Now the problem is you've got a length here where animals, whatever, can hit these things. So either use brightly colored cord or put a flag on it or something. Now, I once had a deer run in the middle of the night and didn't see this and ran right at this cord this way. And of course that pulled it down as the animal did that. It pulled the stake out. And as soon as the stake came out, the whole pole went over. Okay, and it had at the time a cobweb antenna. And the deer got caught in the cobweb antenna. And by the time I got out there in the morning, the deer had freed itself from all of that, leaving my cobweb antenna 
a complete shambles ready for the the trash can unfortunately it was so thoroughly destroyed so there you have it something that I hope will help you uh, put that antenna up I hope that as we get into the higher parts of the sunspot cycle you're gonna have a lot of fun and I hope that you uh, get your general class license soon so you can really enjoy uh, what you're doing there there's an antenna that you can set up that is on the, uh, if you go to uh, decastler.com slash reference, that's the reference station for new generals. And it's a complete station. If you pick and choose, you might want to substitute in a different HF radio and so on. Uh, the station that is, uh, or the radio that is listed in there is the ICOM 7300. I have set up here at my home the reference station so that I can talk about it in those terms. So if you've come this far in this video, I think you're probably someone who really supports this channel. You can truly support by making sure that you're subscribed. It doesn't cost anything, it doesn't change anything. It's just your vote of confidence in this channel so that the YouTube algorithm will recommend it to others. You can also, if you want, click on the bell, which will give you notifications however you get your notifications from Google. Also, if you'd like to help financially support this channel, there is a link with a few more options by going to decastler.com support. You can pick something that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.